Today, I will be uh, talking about ways in adding and subtracting polynomials. My other video lessons, I already talked about what a polynomial is. If you want to learn about this, you can click the link below. So this time, I would like to talk about these uh, ways in adding and subtracting polynomials. There are three ways that I will present to you. And the first one is by using tiles. The second one is adding and subtracting polynomials horizontally. And the third one is adding and subtracting polynomials vertically. But uh, before uh, learning this uh, concept, you should already have learned about adding and subtracting integers. Let's now proceed. First, let us familiarize the tiles. Let's have representation of the tiles. I have put all of them at the left side. For example, represent 2x minus 3 using tiles. We put here x blue x tile and another blue x tile so we have 2x and minus 3 we have 3 negative 1 small square that's it that is our representation of the polynomial 2x minus 3 how about this one 3x plus 2x using the tiles blue positive x tiles there are 3 and plus 2x we have 2 positive blue tiles so if we get the total we have 5 positive blue tiles therefore the answer of 3x plus 2x is equal to 5x 4x plus negative 2x we are adding unlike signs so 4x we can have 4 positive x tiles plus 2 negative x tiles that's it so we can have this pairs of positive and negative tiles the answer for this is zero so what remains is only the two blue tiles or positive x tiles therefore the answer is 2x so how about this one negative 3x minus negative 5x we are now in subtraction We are applying the rule for the subtraction of integers. Just change the sign of the subtrahend. This is the subtrahend. And this one is the minuend. Our rule here is we are going to change the sign of the subtrahend and then add this to the minuend. So this time we are really applying addition. So we have negative 3x will be negative x negative x and negative x there are three negative x's 5x we have positive x positive x positive x positive x we have five x tiles positive x tiles and of course we have pairs of negative and positive this will result to zero what remains only is we have two positive x tiles therefore the answer is 2x another example negative 3x squared plus x squared now we will use the big tiles positive x squared and the negative x squared but here let's see 
there will be 3 negative x squared tiles. That's it. Plus x squared, we use the positive blue tile. And we, now we have this pair of positive and negative tiles. That will be 0. And what remains only here is there are 2 negative x squared tiles. So the answer is negative 2x squared. Second procedure. Number 1, we have 3x plus 4x. We will add this horizontally. Okay, here the first is you are going to put in one quantity the integers. So we have 3 plus 4. And then since we have variable or common variable, we put only one variable here at the right side. 3 plus 4x is equal to 7x. The next one, number 2, 3x plus negative 4x. What we do here, the rule is group or put in one quantity the integers. So we have 3 plus negative 4. This is it. And then write the variable x. So we can only add this polynomial if the variable is the same. So 3 plus negative 4 is negative 1 and bring down x. So the final answer is negative x. In subtraction, the same procedure as in addition, we have to put in one quantity the integers or the coefficient of the variable. So we have 8x minus 3x equals 8 minus 3 quantity x. And the final answer, 8 minus 3 is 5 or 8 plus negative 3. You follow the rule of subtraction. So change the sign of the subtrahend and add it to the minuend. We have 5x. Number 2, 6x minus negative 11x. Again, we copy all the numerical coefficients into one quantity or one group so we have 6 minus negative 11 then apply the rule of uh, subtraction of integers so 6 minus negative 11 you can have positive 11 then add it to the minuend you can have 6 plus 11 x then the final answer is 17 x Next, uh, by applying this uh, grouping, we have three terms. Combine first those with the same literal coefficients. So you have 7x squared plus 9x squared. Write it here below. Then next term is negative 5x plus negative 3x. Write the terms below. And then 2 plus 6 you write the terms 2 plus 6 I just uh, put some colors to identify that these terms are similar 7x squared plus 9x squared is 16x squared and then negative 5x plus negative 3x is negative 8x 2 plus 6 is equal to positive 8 that's the final answer. And then we have number 4. 7x squared negative 5x positive 2 minus 9x squared negative 3x positive 6. So I only use here the same terms as in example 3. Just for us to see the difference how to subtract and to add. So this time we have to subtract the first terms 7x squared minus 9x squared copy first and then also copy negative 5x minus negative 3x copy also 2 minus 6 here 
so we have we are using the colors so that we can identify similar terms 7x squared minus 9x squared is negative 6x squared and the negative 5x minus negative 3x is negative 2x 2 minus 6 is negative 4 our next procedure in adding and subtracting polynomials is by using vertical method. So here I have here 7x squared minus 5x plus 2 and then 9x squared minus 3x plus 6. Let us add these two polynomials. So just like addition of numbers, you can apply it here. So we have a 7 plus 9 is 16. And then x squared, you have here below x squared. Just copy the literal coefficient. And then negative 5x plus negative 3x is negative 8x. So just add the numerical coefficient then copy the literal coefficient and then the last one we have 2 plus 6 is positive 8 let's have this one 7x squared minus 5x plus 2 minus 9x squared negative 3x positive 6 copy the menu end what we do for the subtrahend is change the sign. After changing the sign, we proceed addition. So let's add 7x squared plus negative 9x squared is negative 2x squared. Then negative 5x plus 3x, negative 2x. And 2 plus negative 6 is negative 4. That's the final answer. That's all folks. Please don't forget to click like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more videos in the future. Thank you.